Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to draw this realistic snake with charcoal pencils. I will show you some tricks that you can easily and quickly apply for yourself. Since I want to have a white border around my picture, I tape all four sides with an adhesive tape. For this I use an adhesive tape which can be removed without leaving any residue. Without damaging my paper. If you want to know which tape I use, write me in the comments. Now that all sides are glued, I follow the edges again with my finger. So I make sure that there are no air bubbles. And that the adhesive tape sticks very firmly to the paper. My motive today is a snake. I have already transferred these to the paper in advance. There are several ways you can do this. If this is interesting for you and you would like to see how I do it, let me know. Maybe I'll make a separate video about it. Since the pencil lines of the drawing are too dark for me, I erase them away with an eraser. Pencil or charcoal drawings smear easily. That's why I put a foil under my hand. Then I take a tool to hand with which I can press the paper. I use a double-sided puncture pen. This is available in different strengths. With this puncture pen I follow the obstructed lines. This means that the paper is pressed deeper in these places. I use a normal cardboard paper for my drawing. Basically, this technique works with any other paper as well. Only that the thicker the paper, the more beautiful the effect. If you want to try this technique but don't want to spend money, you can use an empty ballpoint pen. Just make sure that there is no more ink in the ballpoint pen. In this way I work my way through the complete drawing. First I erase the dark strokes away again. Then I follow all the eradicated lines with this dotting pin. With the puncture pen I have now drawn all the lines. Now I can start coloring the snake. I start my drawing with a hard charcoal pen. With a hard charcoal pen, the black is the brightest. The softer the pen, the darker it becomes black. There are different degrees of hardness of charcoal pins. Hard, medium and soft. The black tones of the individual producers are also different. You see, I only press the paper very slightly with the charcoal pen. It is not so important whether all places are hatched exactly or remain white. I have a little tip for you. If you hold your pen further back while painting, your hand will work out of your wrist. This is not so stressful for your hand and goes less on the joints. Now that everything is roughly painted, I apply a little more coal in some places. This is how I define light and darker places in my drawing. With a paper wiper I now wipe the coal on the paper. You can also take a paper handkerchief or your fingers. By the way, another name for paper wipers is a stompin. Since I want to make my background black later, I don't have to pay so much attention to whether I swipe beyond the snake into the background. By wiping, the coal is mixed on the paper. However, the places where we have previously carved with the puncture pen remain white. I work out the mouth of the snake a little. Then I set more shadows and accents. Now I take a brush and rub the coal on the paper. Since my cardboard paper has a very light grain size and structure, the charcoal adheres differently to the paper. 
This results in a very nice color structure for the scales of the snake. Since I want my snake to be a little darker, I apply coal again, which I then wipe again later. This process can be repeated as often as desired. Due to the blurring, isolated areas become too dark. So that isolated areas become bright again, you can brighten them again with an eraser. I'm using an electric eraser here. This has the advantage that it gets the coal away from the paper much better than a normal eraser. If you have not yet had any experience with electric erasers, these are available with different eraser thicknesses. Slightly thicker and very fine. The finer and thinner the eraser, the more precisely you can remove the paint from the paper. With the cheap electric erasers, you have to hold down the button while you are erasing. This takes some getting used to at the beginning. Now I take my paper wiper again and wipe the white spots again. This process can be repeated as often as desired. Lighten a little and then blur again. Now I take a charcoal pen again, this time with a medium degree of hardness. So the black is now a little darker. I wipe everything with a paper wiper. Later, I brighten up isolated areas with an eraser. In this way, I work through the complete drawing and work out all the parts. Basically, this process is the whole secret to making a drawing appear three-dimensional. You work from light to dark. This means that you first apply the coal to the paper. Then you blur everything together again and if isolated areas have become too dark due to the wiping, then you lighten them again with an eraser. And then the process starts all over again.
Now I start to work out a background. I surround the snake with a charcoal pencil. Then I hatch the entire background with a soft charcoal pen. After roughly painting the background, I wipe the background with my finger. You can see that by rubbing the background is now a bit blacker. Nevertheless, many white dots remain. So after I have rubbed the whole background, I paint a second time with the black charcoal pen over the background and then rub the coal a second time. This makes the background really pitch black. I finished the background. Now I'm starting to paint more contrasts into the snake. I do that until I come to a result that I like. After I'm done with the snake, I fix the picture with a fixative. This has the advantage that the drawing is retained longer. Because of the fixation, the coal sticks to the leaf and no longer smears. Also, the colors fade much less over the years as if you had not used a fixation. As soon as the fixation is completely dried, I remove the tape from my sheet again. The paper is not damaged. You see, I got absolutely perfectly straight black edges on all four sides. Finally, I take a white gel pencil and paint a few smaller light effects into my drawing. It took me about three hours to paint this snake. But then there are well over 10 hours for the editing of the video, as well as the scoring and the caption. So if you liked my video, I would be very happy if you reward my work with a thumbs up and leave me a subscription. So you help me to be found better on YouTube and I remain motivated to continue to finish many videos for you.